Certainly. Inborn errors of metabolism are simply disorders, almost arbitrarily defined, in which an enzyme is missing. Uh, by uh, you inherit an enzyme deficiency or a deficiency in a catalyst that converts various products uh, that we eat um, into other compounds that the body needs. So for example, um, if you eat a hamburger or eat a salad, you obviously don't change, your body doesn't change, and clearly in order for the body to function with these very varied uh, foods, you have to change them into uh, common uh, necessities in the body. And inborn errors are a class of disorders in which you're missing an enzyme catalyst. You inherit a missing enzyme that fails to carry out one of these many processes that exist in the body. Well, compliance, <coughs> compliance does vary. And the um, and teenage years are just one of uh, the barriers that people face during their lives. But when you think about it, uh, we, we eat almost intuitively or instinctively. Someone puts food in front of us and we just eat it. There's food being served here and there's no concern. Whatever's on the plate, I'll eat. But if someone has diabetes or tyrosinemia, a disorder like that, they are restricted in their diet and they restrict it every meal of every day. And tyrosinemia now has a treatment that diminishes the uh, intensity of the diet. So that's not one of the worst things that we confront. Uh, there are other things that we confront that are um, uh, more challenging than that. But still, uh, th this gentleman is going to have to realize that his son's care will be somewhat different from that prescribed by the doctor and uh, it's a balance actually. The balance is you want to bring up a normal child who's adapted to the world and at the same time who takes care of their illness. And if you lose that fine balance you can uh, uh, do harm one way or another.